Hi, I'm Amanda Sardinas. And I'm Alice Carballo. Today is Friday, May 3rd, 2019. Welcome back to Braddock TV. For the past two decades, social media has taken control of over our daily lives and influenced our society greatly. Here's Kayla Mendez with this week's Spotlight. With social media at the reach of our hands, we can't do anything but rely on it, even putting our daily lives on it. We tend to post things automatically without taking the things we post into consideration. Sometimes social media users tend to let the fame get into their heads to a degree which leads them to rely on just the feeling. I feel like it impacted me in my life in a really, really negative way because I'm super addicted to it and I cannot get off of it. it. It's kind of impacting it in a positive way too, but it's like basically because I don't want to get on TV because it's like people. But like, yeah, it's, it's, it's like in between. Um, it helps me communicate with friends and stuff, but not really. I don't, I don't really care that much for it. Well, In a new Netflix documentary titled Social Animal, the topic is explored along with testimony from real life social media celebrities, which tell the story of the good and the bad of social media. Some of us don't realize the different sides that exist to social media. Social media has risen along with technology, advancing at any chance it could get. Now, I don't, feel, I don't really feel dependent on social media because if the social media disappeared by tomorrow, I wouldn't really care. I wouldn't be as dependent on, on social media. Here's World News with Salma. On Monday, the Sri Lankan president announced the beginning of face coverings following the Easter Sunday attacks. According to his office, any face garment which hinders identification will be banned to ensure security. It is not specified on whether the niqab and burqa, which is worn by Muslim women, is included in this law. However, the president seems to be targeting that type of attire. The Muslim community is highly critical of this verdict, saying that all Salon Jamiatul Ulema had already told Muslim women to not wear their face veils for security purposes. As of last week, the very first malaria vaccines were given to children in Malawi. The RTS Kama S vaccine has been proven to be 40% effective, and even though the percentage is small, it is a big milestone in combating malaria. In 2017, 219 million people were infected by malaria and 435,000 of them died. The goal is to reach 360,000 children each year along with Kenya and Ghana, who will soon introduce the vaccine to the public. Even though the year is coming to an end, our Braddock athletes are still hustling. From softball to football, our athletes have been working nonstop. Here's Swan with this week's sports. Final home game of the softball season, the Braddock Bulldogs take an outstanding victory in the seniors final game. Seniors graduating facing their last home game are Maria Mendez, Madison Smith, and Alexandra Zapata. We congratulate them for their outstanding sportsmanship, in-game play, and being outstanding teammates. The victory against Killian in their final home game was a demolishing and dominant victory, with the end game total being 27-2. Braddock finishes off their season with an 11-7 overall record and are currently in the district playoffs against district rivals Lords Academy and take an upsetting victory with a score of 8-4. We wish our girls good luck in the upcoming games against Ferguson and for the rest of the season. With the recent release of popular movies, spoilers have been looming in the air. In a world that's always moving fast, many movies and new episodes of shows come out at one time. Sometimes you may take weeks just to watch one movie or episode. You're eager, excited, waiting to be able to watch that new movie or episode that came out. But then, someone has already watched it before you. No, bro, come on, man. You know that I have it. He dies at the end of the movie. Bro, come on, bro, I didn't want to know. Don't be that guy. Don't ruin the movie. But if you do happen to come across a known spoiler, or you're in fear of having a movie or show spoiled, use these three steps to not have it spoiled. 1. No matter what, do not look at social media. Delete it if you have to. 2. Perform the most famous and well-known procedure. 
This may either A. Scare the spoiler away, or B. Make the spoiler be inaudible. Three, although violence is never the answer, sometimes you must resort to such extremes to avoid having your movie or show spoiled. Go ahead and double leg them for even attempting to ruin your show or movie. And remember, watch the movie or show as fast as you can to avoid any possibilities of it being spoiled. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. And tune into our YouTube channel on Fridays at 10.15 for new episodes. And make it happen with, with Braddock, Braddock TV. TV. <laughs>